So all the horses that come to me, you see in these videos, were sent to me for training. And we're in South Mississippi. We're getting into our hot season. Humidity is going to be high. Temperatures are going to be high. Our, our high temperatures are not as high as they are like out west, but our humidity is real high. And we'll have high temperatures. Uh, our, we'll be... Our lows at night will be in the upper 70s here really soon, maybe even 80, but they'll be in that range with the high humidity. Everything that comes to me gets some turnout time. So one of the th issues that I've had to overcome is horses like this with pink skin, keeping them from sunburning here. I know there's uh, fly sheets and stuff that you can put on them that will give them some sun protection. But in our climate with the humidity, they still sweat under those fly sheets and I really don't care for them all that well when you're trying to use them for sun protection because they would be out in the middle of the day, 80, 90 degree weather, maybe even a little higher with high humidity and they're gonna sweat under those fly sheets. So what I do instead is a couple of products that I use. I buy sunscreen and a stick and I'll put all links to all this in the comments or in the video description and I'll put that on their nose on their blaze to keep the blaze from sunburning this horse does have a fly mask that we put on her and it usually stays on about 12 hours and then she manages to get it off so I like to put the stick sunscreen I really like this stick because you just Put it on her nose and you're done with it. That'll help prevent sunburn on the nose. This horse is bad about sunburning on her body. Last year she got a pretty serious sunburn. All under this white hair is pink skin. So what I like to do, this is just regular sunscreen in an aerosol can. So I'll spray sunscreen all over her white Make her smell like she's at the beach. And that actually gives her pretty good sun protection. This worked good last year. Right here on her withers is one of the places that she sunburned pretty bad last year. So I'll spray that on before she's turned out. And I've had really good success doing it this way. I prefer the aerosol can over the lotions. Um, lotions work good for us as far as rubbing it in our skin, but these aer but lotions don't really. I, I I don't haven't had as good of luck, good of success with the lotions as I have this aerosol can. So I'll put links to both of those products in the comments or in the video description. If you have any questions about it, uh, send me a comment. This is Indy. I've done quite a few videos of her. She's doing really good in training. We're showing her and, and winning pretty good with her. Until next time, thank you for watching.